Hi everyone, in this video I would like to tell you about a software developed by me in Java. The name of the software is Relay Control System. Now this is the Relay Control System software. Here you can see there are 18 bulbs and 18 switches. The main motive, the main purpose of this software was to communicate to a remote device which has a communication ability and trigger the relays which are running in that system. So here uh, the working of this software is pretty much very simple like uh, you just click and you toggle the data. So when the bulb is on it means that the data is one. We are triggering the relay is on and when the bulb goes out it means relay is turned off. There are some bunch of options in uh, this software like you can connect if I click here on the connect button on the connect menu item I'm sorry uh, then uh, this will this software will try to connect the hardware the hardware part of the software to communicate um, so this will connect in different ways like uh, firstly it can connect with the internet via TCP sockets or it can connect through USB driver and it has also ability to connect through RF module but currently I don't have hardware so I will show that in different video the main thing is that uh, you can also save the configuration of the software for example in some of the cases there are some relays which are on and some are off so in that case we can save those configuration and load later on with this open button the pattern maker uh, makes the pattern of the relay for example um, you want to uh, switch on a relay at some time and then you have want to turn it off at night or after two hours every two hours you want to uh, toggle a relay then you can use the pa uh, pal uh, pattern monitor monitor it's currently in the development stage that uh, when you check it it means that it also reads so when you are connected to the remote embedded system then it will also read and monitor the relays which are working which are not so it's like bi-directional all high and all lows as the name suggests if you click on all high then every bulb every relay will goes high and in all low it will go low and manual you can select manually different relays now the customize functionality gives you ability uh, to change the name of different relays like for the ease of use for example switch uh, for in a case of uh, maybe home automation system in that uh, you have a main gate if that main gate is electronic is driven by electronic motor then you can uh, name it like main gate then you have television then you can name it television then you can like like this you can give name to all the buttons now what will happen if I click OK then as you can see the first switch switches are configured as main gate and television the name of the button is also changed but the main thing is that the code generated to communicate with the relay is also changed currently uh, the variable name in the code which is like a unique ID for every switch is the same as the name of the button so the main gate means if I will turn it on then the on signal will go to the MBI system through three of the uh, any of the medium like RF module Wi-Fi or the USB driver will carry main gate as variable so that MBI system can know that okay the main gate is the variable for which the user is asking for the turning on of the relay so the later part of the software where I will show you with the hardware I will I will make those videos later on for now a very good evening and goodbye